Will this be the solution that we all need? Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. Today I'm going to present you the H110 Pro BTC from ASRock. This is the 13 GPU mining rig motherboard and we're going to make something amazing with it. But of course, that's going to be for very future videos. I have some crazy ideas in my head, just like the swimming pool project. That's already pretty crazy, but we're going to go even more crazy on this one but today i am gonna review this motherboard pretty shortly for you guys so you know what it's capable of and what parts you need to build your mining rig for this so this motherboard needs a cpu with an lga 1151 socket and that supports the seventh and sixth generation of intel core processors like the i7 i5 i3 and if we want to go cheap we can take the pentiums and celerons as well this motherboard supports the DDR4 RAM sticks and you can buy it in the 2400 and the 2133 MHz versions, but 2400 is mostly recommended. So the next feature of this motherboard is actually what it's all about. So it has 13 GPU slots in total, but it got one 16 PCIe slot, so you can just fit in a single card in there and grab 12 other cards and put them up into your mining rig above. So you can save out one PCIe riser and you have a little bit more space for the rest of your mining rigs. And now, where we have all been waiting for, we can throw away our little power switches because it has an onboard power reset button built in on the system. This is one amazing feature. That's pretty nice, right? Also, I will give you guys some recommendations on this motherboard. You will need to be running a Linux on this system because it will support a 13 GPU build. Also, you will need risers of course, but make sure to buy long riser cables because having a lot of GPUs will give you really long distances from the motherboard to your GPU. So make sure the cables, the USB cables of the risers are long enough. So this is not really a motherboard for people that just start to mine. They have absolutely no knowledge of mining and they just straight go into 13 GPU mining. Well, I think you need some knowledge before you go and start ahead with 13 GPUs running at once. It's a bad idea. But of course, everything is possible and I will show you some rig build parts example on what you would need on building one of these 13 GPU mining rigs. Well, it starts off pretty simple. Okay, so the GPU shortage is not gonna help on this part of the parts list. Well, you will need 13 RX 500 or GTX 10 series cards. Well, and you say, why only RX 500 series cards or 10 series cards? Well, the RX 500 series are being made. I contacted a few suppliers and they just stopped producing the RX 400 series I have no idea why, because it, I know it's better at mining, but they just go for a mining edition card. So we will have to pay about 400 bucks for the single same card that we buy before. So they are just ripping us off by not making the old cards anymore and making GPU mining edition cards. Next up, you will need 13 PCIe risers, of course, from 1 to 16 slots for your GPUs. But you could also do the 12 riser thing and put one inside the 16 slot of your motherboard to save about 7 bucks. You will also need a single LGA 1151 CPU and it will cost you about $50 if you buy something like an Intel Pentium Dual Core from Amazon and I will put all the links in the description below so you guys can find it pretty easily and support the channel at the same time. You will also need a single DDR4 4GB 2400 memory stick, for example from HyperX Fury. You can also buy a 2-pack that's always cheaper, then you will only pay $35 each. Because if you know that you're gonna build another mining rig pretty soon, I would recommend buying these because you will save out a little bit too. 
I would also recommend buying a 120 gigabyte SSD instead of a hard drive because SSDs will reboot your system faster and the 120 gigabyte will fit your operating system pretty easily in there and some DAG files and whatsoever. So it comes at a really cheap price of about $55. So last but not least, you will need two 1300 watt power supplies. Well, because if you're running at about 60% of the power usage that your power supplies are delivering, for example, these two can handle 2600 watts of power, well, you will be reaching the 60% mark pretty easily. They're pretty cheap at this very moment. They're about 175 bucks each. The EVGA Supernova 1300 G280 plus gold fully modular power supply so you will be able to fit in every single cable you only need and if you divide them pretty evenly it will be the best for the power supplies so hopefully you all enjoyed this video and this was the Astrock H110 Pro BTC Plus we're gonna have some serious fun with this thing